So for today's project, we're going to create a Ted Harris inspired line drawing. The paper is going to be vertical and your name is on the top and your class code and we'll flip it over. And the first step is to draw some curved wave lines. That's one. Two. And look how I'm drawing. I'm going up and it is the same type of line. We're just going up the page. So we have three and we're gonna make one more. And for the, the sun, we're gonna add four different circles that are overlapping. And I have a circle of pattern here. You can use different types of caps or just draw four different circles. So I'm gonna draw one in the middle, on top of the page, top of the waves, and I'm going to do this one. We want a medium circle, a smaller circle, the smallest circle and so that's one, two, three, four. And now we're gonna draw lines for the sun. So we just created the waves, now we're drawing the lines for the actual sun. So for the sun, We're going to draw one diagonal line. Two diagonal lines. So now you're making an X at the ruler. And then I'm drawing a line going down. Vertical and horizontal. And here's the drawing. Now I'm going to outline with black marker. You can use a black color pencil, crayon, the color brown, gray, blue, purple. So when I outlined, what I did was I, I decided to make another line next to all of the my lines. So for this one, And these lines, perpendicular, which means they're together, they're close together, but not touching. And these lines will be white. So here is the top, and I'm going to use some warm colors. So I have yellow and orange for my top section. And I'm going to use markers. And I'm only outlining the section and then I'm coloring inside. And I'm, I'm doing every other one orange because the one in the middle is going to be yellow. And this is the sun and this is the ocean. So usually suns are yellow, orange, or red. So I'm going to skip this one because that's going to be yellow. 
this is gonna be orange and see all the insides I am leaving white and leaving that and then I'm coloring this one See, outlining the area first, inside, then coloring the rest. Okay, now coloring the rest of the parts yellow. So see, this section has a little bit of white. Go back in and color in the white spots. So you see there's a pattern now of yellow and orange. So lines in a array or a row create a pattern. And lines create different shapes. So all of my lines that I made turned into triangles. And the last one, oops. And sometimes my hands pressed on there, that's okay. Sometimes the, my, the color bleeds if you are using markers. And these are brand new markers, that's why. And they're very vibrant. vibrant. Okay, now we're gonna do the, in the middle of the circle, which is the sun. I'm gonna use a color named Scarlet. Uh, red, orange red and red violet so these colors are in the red and orange family so if you just have red you can use uh red and white red and pink you can also do red yellow and orange i'm going to do red First, and I'm going to use the, the darkest color in the, the in the smallest section. After I finished my color red, see there's no white spots. I'm going to use the red purple color which is a lighter red, which is more of a pink purple tone, which is red violet, which is purple. This color is a tessellary color, which means that a primary color and a secondary color are mixed together. So the inside of the sun is the most hottest part. So obviously it's gonna be dark. And then we're gonna use the scarlet because that one's darker. And see how I'm turning the paper around. As I'm turning the paper around, it helps color in the lines better. Okay. 
Okay. And now this is completed. I'm going to take my last color, which is scarlet, which is an orange color, and I'm going to color the outside. And the sun is done. Now we're going to do the four bottom parts. So I want to take the darkest color first. Yes, okay. So this is the darkest blue that I have, and I'm going to color this bottom blue and I'm outlining the wave E line first and then on the color inside. So we have dark blue that over there and then we have This is darker than, than normal blue. So this one is going to go next, actually. Actually, no, blue is going to go next. And let's see, I'm just outlining the section. So this is before I color inside of the, sh of the whole area. And I'm not touching the two parallel lines, but I do not want that to be colored. I want to leave that white. So now I'm going to color these two rows and then I'm going to pick and choose the last two rows. So now I'm going to do the third level, which is going to be a lighter blue. And I'm just outlining the area. And if you don't have different shades of blue, you can use purple, blue, and green. Which are all cool colors. So I'm just outlining the section first. And then I'll color inside. And for the last row, I'm going to use a lighter blue. And up here, just outlining the section. I'm going to finish the two rows. Okay, so I finished the last two rows. So here is the Ted Harrison inspired line drawing. So here is the ocean waves using different shades of blue. 
the sun rays using warm colors, the sun using different variety shades of orange and red, 